DF Gentles, a buddy of mine, got me a PlayStation Portal as a wedding gift, despite my protests. <laughs> All right. Wow. <laughs> now I have it and it's just okay. Do you think it could ever be more via some sort of update, perhaps a direct connection feature of some kind, as opposed to literally behaving just like remote play on my phone does, or maybe a miraculous hack that unlocks the ability to play older games? Cheers. Oliver, what do you reckon? There was a hack that was publicized a few months ago, and that, that would certainly do it if that was released. I think they might not be releasing it, unfortunately, but that would certainly do it. I think any update or hack would be limited just because of the hardware and the fact that you only have um, a not, not too impressive chip, I think, in there, and then also only six gigabytes of storage available on, on the device itself. Yeah. Um, that would be, be very limiting. So, um, you know, would it be a good... I think, it's, I think it's good hardware. I think it's good hardware. I think the fact that it has limited storage necessarily puts any hopes of, like, using that machine for any kind of... Right really serious emulation beyond older systems um it makes it a lot less appealing for sure i'd like to see it happen regardless because i think it's compelling hardware um mm -hmm. but outside of that storage issue but it does not seem like that's a good premier use for the machine yeah alex thoughts no i don't think that anything's gonna happen <laughs> a big note especially from the sony side of things i mean if they're willing to dump psvr2 essentially um then they're gonna they, they can comfortably dump portal Right. Okay. Hmm. Um, how do I approach this one? The streaming experience could be better, right? Um, there are issues with PlayStation Portal. Image quality is a problem uh, and latency is a problem. Now, here's the thing. <laughs> I'm, uh, I literally just Googled Tom's article about PlayStation 5 streaming, right? Um, which is, you know, a similar principle. You know, uh, it is effectively a form of remote play. Now, the latency addition between the looking at Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven here, um, the the addition the additional latency offered by cloud streaming is lower than remote play, which is happening within a local environment. This does not compute to me. Right? <laughs> You know, I was measuring something like about 70, 80 millisecond extra latency and um, uh, with remote play. And I'm looking at Tom's table here uh, where he's measured PlayStation 5 native gaming against uh, cloud streaming, uh, 60 FPS. I mean, typically we're looking at a latency addition of between 47.5 to 57.4 uh, milliseconds, depending on whether it's a 30 or 60 FPS game, depending on whether you're using a wired or Bluetooth controller, these these results are better than remote play, which says mm -hmm. to me that there's something off with remote play, and there's a better solution that could be uh, that could be uh, sorted out to make the um, the portal better. There are image quality issues with remote play, which I would assume could be solved by increasing the bandwidth, right? Which is exactly what PlayStation uh, Cloud Streaming does. So I do reckon the PlayStation Portal could be improved. Uh, the question is whether the resources are there to make it happen. Um, but I agree with uh, my colleagues here that um, the concept of having you know, downloadable apps and downloadable games is going to be limited simply because of the um, of the available storage on the portal. That said, six gigs is plenty for like PSP games and PS1 games. So, you know, why not? Although Maybe. I guess, yeah, I guess mm. you're still talking about a fairly limited selection. Overall. PSP games can be like a little bit, a little bit bigger. <laughs> yeah, yeah like know, 200. For yeah. some of the bigger ones, yeah. Mm. I think gig or two yeah okay